for this year. <laughs> okay, are you, are you ready? I'd like to test it out. Okay, I'm ready. You're ready? All right, since it's ready, six minutes on the clock, and here we go. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to show you our niche application. It's called build.com. Uh, my name is Matai. Okay, what is build.com? If you talk to the marketer, I'd like to say that build is a professional social network that connects construction professionals through their business activities. That is a, the kind of uh, industry specific media. Okay? But if I talk to the if I talk to the construction firm, I would say like build is just a app support software as a service that help them run their business. It's kind of uh, like a Salesforce, but it's all, all for free for construction industry. Okay. The team, my background, I'm a, I am a civil engineer. I run my construction business, and my partner, who is the computer engineer, we have been developed the construction specific ERP for Thai and Japanese contractor in Thailand for seven years, so we have experience in the industry. About the construction industry, maybe I want, I want to uh, show you, it is a huge industry that it worth more than 8 trillion US dollars a year and it's continuous growth. Uh, it will account for 13% of the world GDP by the year 2020 and 55% of this project costs come from the emerging countries like India and China and Indonesia. But the fact about the construction business is it is really the risky business. It is the second highest failure rate of any kind of business follow the restaurant industry and it's really close to the IT industry actually <laughs> <laughs> and most of them are small we can estimate that the number of the construction firm in Asia is nearly a million and 80% of them are SME the problem of the SME construction firm is it's not about their construction skill they are lack of business management skill so that's why it is a risky. They are working on the risky and messy and dirty business. Okay? And then after the construction firm fail, it will affect the project owner. Like you and me, we don't want to take risks about our own properties. We would like to select the trustworthy contractors to work for us. Okay? And another group of uh, players in the industry is the supplier. Now they, they spend their good money to the bad marketing. They offer the wrong thing to the wrong target, even in the online marketing. So we bring these three parties and solve them each. Uh, this is here comes our solutions for the construction firm. We provide them the management tool to manage their cost, time, and quality. Now more than 1,400 construction firms in Thailand using our system on web and mobile. They can create their document and their daily workflow here. For the project owner, because we have thousands of companies working on us and he knows their profile, he knows their behavior, we can arrange the suggestion and project matching for the project owner. So we can get the qualified contractors here. For the supplier, this place is where the construction firm and the project owner work together. So it is the right place for you to market your product and service and it is actually the right time you can market your product and service while they are working and just like other digital media, we can measure what we have the graph here and now we got the sponsorship from the major player in the industry in Thailand Tata Steel from India, Sayang Simen from Thailand Our business model is all free Now we currently use free model and with app support but in the future we can offer the subscription model with the advanced features or we can also make the money from um, market research and project lease commission. This is a fact sheet. We can see this figure in our system. Uh, more than 2,000 construction projects is rising in Thailand. Where is it? And we can see the profile of the contractors here. Now our grade A user is account for 300 million US dollars. And it is double growth over half a year. And what is the interest? another interesting fact is we have the high user engagement. Now, we, our great day users spend their time three hours a week on the system because this is a daily work. 
our group plan, we are building the B2B relationship because we know who is working on and what they are buying and where they are buying from. So this kind of relationship we can create the B2B relationship and we will launch a new module. Currently, we, we already have the under construction information and once the project is complete, we know the post construction information. What is inside this building? The air con, the light bulb, the four tiles, whatever. But we're going to make a new module to collect the pre-construction information. So we will have the whole chain of construction information here. And we will launch in the new emerging territory like Indonesia, Vietnam, and ASEAN countries, and especially we're looking for Australia too. Okay, let me summarize. Uh, so, build is about the construction information, construction networking. That is where construction has to be united. That's all for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So right now, we're having six minutes of feedback and questions from the judges. Your time starts now. Did I hear you right to say that in the future you might be in the data business? So knowing exactly which sites got HVAC, which sites got a different type of AC, and, and selling that information? We're not selling the information actually, we just make a market research. Okay, market research. Okay. We, we don't tap into the primary mm -hmm. information, that's mm -hmm. it, I understand. So we just collect information and extract it to the market research. Okay, great. So far, we have done some market research for construction industry of Thailand and some brand in Thailand. Uh, just a question about the problem that you're solving. Uh, you mentioned three groups: contractors, project owners, and suppliers. Yes. Who, whose problems are you doing the, the best job of solving of those three? Okay, we solve the problem for the construction firm, the contractors, because that is the it used to be our pain point so far. We run the construction business and we don't have the software to manage our business. So when we are small, we target on SMEs. SME cannot spend much on IT, okay? So we just let them use for free. And then they can run uh, our software to manage the, their cost, their time, and their quality of work here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, um, can you comment a bit on your strategy for mobile? Or if okay. that way? Now we have uh, Android module that uh, take a photo of the project and uh, take note that is it a quality problem uh, or the time delay and make a knowledge management for construction site. And we can also take a photo and make a, this is a project progress. Now it's just uh, close knowledge management that we plan for, you can share to the project owner. This is a progress of your house, your whatever. The construction firm it built is now not only for housing, it's just from the uh, interior contractors to the gardening to the dam construction, the road construction also. Uh, how are you getting new customers? So contractors, how are they finding okay. you? About the customer acquisition. Actually, they did the juicy acquisition. They didn't pay me. Okay. The construction industry is quite obsolete. I need to bring them from offline to online. We do some many of uh, offline activities with our partner. So we do education, we do the free training all over Thailand to make them online. Okay. But for the customer acquisition, actually the, the sponsorship, okay, because we are someone in the industry. So we just propose them and we show them uh, how digital marketing, <coughs> this is in the early stage actually, construction and digital marketing is in the early stage. So we just pitch them and then they got, we got it. So, in, for that, the, that paying person, who is that advertiser? What type of vendor? Uh, currently? Yeah. Okay. We have the construction material suppliers, and we have some service provider in the industry. We have some uh, university that provide the construction management costs, and we also looking for some bank that provide a construction loan. Is there a social element here? Uh, can the contractors speak to each other? Is it like a forum? Or? Yeah. Uh, no, not, not we are planning to. It is a social reaction that is possible. Like that. Now we know that one contractor, they connect to a group of suppliers, hundreds of suppliers. They buy uh, this material from, uh, okay? And we will have some uh, requests for quotation. 
and you can rank it, you can rate it, your supplier, and make it a community or social relationship. Okay, so the ranking is from uh, construction companies to suppliers. Is there ability to rank the construction companies from sure. their customers? Sure. Ranking is needed because of actually the construction company industry is not well trusted. We, we want to make the industry uh, trustworthy so everyone can rank each other. If you, have, if you are the project owner, you can rank your contractor. If you are the contractor, you can rank the supplier. So supplier can also rank the contractor for the good bank and another. <coughs> this information can, can change the construction industry to a better way. Is that your goal? Sorry? Yes, it's our passion. We, we would like to change our uh, obsolete industry to the construction to the old like other industry. Um, given the number of uh, players in the ecosystem, meaning that there are, you know, you're reliant on many suppliers to get a job done, um, how reliant is this solution on suppliers being engaged with it? Meaning that they have to change the way that they do their business in order to work in this new system that a contractor is putting in place. Okay, you, you mean, uh, the question is, how can I uh, make this change? Is it? Yeah, given that the majority of the work in, in a construction situation is, yeah, yeah. is being done by subcontractors, suppliers, yes. whatever. Um, do, um, do they have to be on board with using the system as well, or can the, con um, can the you know, master contractor itself okay. use the system in a standalone or environment? Or our subcontractor or major contractor can use this system. Because we, we try to make it no for you, we cut off many features. This is not actually the ERP. This is a management tool, basic management tool. We cut off many features that even the subcontractors can use it. A single main contractor in Thailand can use it. Mm -hmm. And for the supplier also. Uh, it's not the difficult to, to, to shift that way to work. They can easily adapt it. And then they can benefit from it. All right, thank you, Rick. Your time is up. All right, thank, thank you. you. Please give me a round of applause.